Om Sum was not an ordinary kid. He was curious, adventurous, and had a strange habit of asking questions that most people didn't even think about. One bright morning, while sipping his favorite juice and reading a book about the human body, Aum Sum's eyes lit up with a thought that made him pause mid-sip. What would happen if someone held their pee for too long? This was not just a silly question for Aum Sum. He wanted real answers. So he packed his trusty backpack, grabbed his notebook, and marched off on a learning adventure determined to discover the truth behind this uncomfortable mystery. His first stop was the imaginary control center inside the human body. He closed his eyes and, just like magic, imagined himself tiny enough to travel inside. He found himself standing inside a giant, squishy balloon. That was the bladder. It was like a stretchy water balloon, and it had an important job to collect and store pee that the body didn't need. The pee came from the kidneys, which acted like tiny filters, cleaning the blood and sending the waste down to the bladder. Almasum observed that at first the bladder looked empty, but slowly, as more pee came in, it stretched bigger and bigger, just like blowing up a balloon. Almasum scribbled notes in his journal. The bladder could hold about as much liquid as a medium water bottle. Not bad, he thought, but then came the tricky part. As the bladder filled up, it started sending signals to the brain. Omsum saw tiny messages being zipped up to the brain, saying things like, Hey, I'm getting full down here. That was when the brain sent back its own signal, telling the person it was time to find a bathroom. Most people listened and went, but what if they didn't? Om Sum imagined the bladder getting fuller and fuller. It wasn't very happy about that. The muscles around it started to stretch and feel uncomfortable. He watched as the brain's signals became more urgent, flashing bright red warnings. Om Sum could almost hear the bladder shouting, though he knew it was just his imagination. Holding pee too long didn't seem like a great idea. Amsum noticed that the pressure inside the bladder kept rising and the walls started to feel tight. The muscles were trying their best to keep the pee inside, but they were getting tired. Amsum thought about all the times he had tried to wait just a little longer when playing outside or during a long car ride. Now he knew the bladder didn't appreciate that. Hmm. As time went on, things inside the body got worse. Amsum saw that if someone kept holding their pee over and over again, their bladder muscles could become weak or confused. They might even have trouble knowing when to go next time. That could lead to accidents or a bladder that didn't empty properly. Worse still, pee left sitting inside too long could allow bacteria to grow, and that could cause infections. Amsum shivered at the thought. As he climbed out of his imaginary body tour, Amsum zipped up his notebook with a proud <laughs> smile. He had found the answers he was looking for. Hmm.